Hello everyone, welcome back to Bio School. Thank you for watching and subscribing my past video, which was on fertilization in sea urchin. In that video, we have discussed chemo attraction, how the sperms are chemically attracted toward the species specific egg, acrosomal reaction, and fusion of sperm and egg plasma membrane. If you have missed to watch, then I recommend you to watch the part 1. So, it will be easy for you to relate the part 2 of fertilization in sea urchin. In this video, you will be able to understand how fast block of polyspermy takes place in sea urchin. At the end, we will solve previous year CSR net question. So, let's get started. What is polyspermy? Poly means many and spermy means the sperm. Polyspermy it describes an egg that has been fertilized by more than one sperm. In polyspermy what happens? A single egg it is fertilized by more than one sperm. In fertilization process a haploid egg it fertilized with the haploid sperm that lead to the formation of diploid zygote. But if polyspermy takes place then what will happen? It will lead to the formation of triploid or tetraploid zygote. And that is forms an ab abnormal embryo and polysmomy so polysmomy it leads to the disastrous consequences in most of the organism during the process of the cell division some cell will receive extra copies of certain chromosome and some cell it will lack the chromosome so as the polysmomy it leads to the formation of abnormal embryo every animal has the prevention of polysmomy so, how the polyspermy is prevented in sea urchin? In sea urchin, the polyspermy it is prevented by two mechanisms. What are those? The one is fast block to polyspermy. The fast block to polyspermy it is accomplished by an electrical changes in egg plasma membrane. That is the change in the membrane potential of egg plasma membrane. What is the membrane potential? Membrane potential is the change or the difference of charge inside and outside of the egg plasma membrane. The fast block of polyspermy it is achieved by an electrical changes in egg plasma membrane. And the, what are the second mechanism? The second mechanism is the slow block to polyspermy. The slow block to polyspermy it is caused by the exocytosis of cortical granules and it is mediated by the calcium ion. In today's video, we will describe about the first block of polyspermy. First block to polyspermy. So, let's discuss about how the first block of polyspermy takes place in sea urchin. Egg plasma membrane, it is negatively charged having resting potential minus 70 millivolt. Why the membrane potential is negatively charged? As we know that in sea urchin, fertilization is external. It takes place in the sea water. The sea water has high concentration of sodium ion in comparison to egg cytoplasm. That leads to the negative membrane potential of egg. The negative membrane potential of egg plasma membrane, it attracts the positively charged sperm. The sperm is positively charged because of presence of positively charged amino acids in the head of sperm. What will happen next? Within the 1 to 3 seconds after binding of the first sperm to the egg plasma membrane because of attraction of negatively charged egg plasma membrane with positively charged of sperm membrane that leads to shift of membrane potential of egg plasma membrane to positive level. What happens when the first sperm binds to the egg plasma membrane within the 1 to 3 seconds the membrane potential of egg it changes from minus 70 millivolt to plus 20 millivolt and this change is caused by the influx of sodium ion into the egg from sea water okay the sperm Sperm it fuse with the membrane that have the resting potential of minus 70 millivolt. If the sperm are the positively charged, it will bind to the egg membrane which has the negatively, which is negatively charged having resting potential minus 70 millivolt. When the membrane potential of egg plasma membrane that changes to positive, 
when the membrane potential change from negative to the positive so no more sperm can fuse to the egg that uh, leads to the block of polyspermy in sea urchin and this is called the fast block to polyspermy the fast block of okay so what are the important points of fast block of polyspermy in sea urchin in unfertilized egg in an unfertilized egg the egg plasma membrane it is negatively charged which has the resting potential of minus 70 millivolt why the egg plasma membrane is negatively charged and it has the resting potential of minus 70 millivolt that is because of the low concentration of sodium ion in comparison to that of seawater also okay and also because of the high concentration of potassium ion so in an unfertilized egg the egg plasma membrane is negatively charged with resting potential minus 70 millivolt the second point is that it is because of the low concentration of sodium ion and the high concentration of the potassium ion when the sperm enters or when the fast sperm fuse with the egg then what will happen the egg will be fertilized and is the membrane potential it will be changed to positive that is the negative membrane potential which was the minus 70 millivolt it will be changed to the plus 20 millivolt in an fertilized egg membrane potential changes is because of the influx of some of sodium ion into egg plasma membrane so in the unfertilized in an unfertilized egg the membrane potential is negative that is because of low sodium ion concentration when the sperm or the fast sperm fuse with the unfertilized egg the membrane potential of egg plasma membrane changes from minus 70 millivolt to plus 20 millivolt why it is changed it is changed because of influx of some of the sodium ion as the membrane potential changes to positive positive charged ion then no more sperm can bind to the egg membrane that leads to the block of polyspermy in sea urchin that block is called the fast block of polyspermy okay the fast block of polyspermy it is a transient block because it lasts only for the two to three seconds okay the fast block of polyspermy it is a transient block it lasts only for the two to three seconds after a two to three, se three seconds what will happen then the membrane potential of egg plasma membrane it will again change it will again change that may lead to the polyspermy that's why the slow block block of polyspermy is also essential the fast block of polyspermy is just followed by the slow block of polyspermy we'll discuss about the slow block of polyspermy in upcoming video so let's consider some of the experimental condition polyspermy in sea urchin it can be induced artificially okay polyspermy can be induced artificially with an electric current that keeps the membrane potential negative we know the sperm it will bind to the egg plasma membrane when the egg plasma membrane has negatively charged if we artificially induce or artificially supply electric current that keeps the membrane potential negative then polyspermy can be induced okay then the next point fertilization can be prevented fertilization can be prevented artificially by keeping the membrane potential of egg positive if the membrane potential of egg it will be positive a positive charge cannot attract the another positive charge so if we will artificially keep the membrane potential of egg positive then that will prevent the fertilization what will be the third condition the third condition is that if supply of sodium ion is not sufficient the sodium ion concentration is not sufficient to cause the positive shift in membrane potential then that also lead to polyspermy okay if the influx of the sodium ion inside the egg plasma membrane is not sufficient then that also leads to the polyspermy okay so now 
this is the previous year CSIR question. This question is, uh, it looks very complicated, right? But it is very easy. Okay. So let's, uh, uh, the fertilization in sea urchin involves interaction of sperm binding with its receptor EBA. What is that? It's the fertilization. It leads to the interaction of sperm binding with its the receptor EBR1 and the EBR1 it is a 350 kilo Dalton glycoprotein on the egg vitellin membrane. We have discussed about that in our first video. The fertilization it takes place by the interaction of the sperm binding with the receptor EBR1. It is present in the vitellin envelope of the egg. The plot given below shows the status of membrane potential and level of and levels of EBR1, sodium ion, potassium ion in an un unfertilized egg. Okay, so this is the plot. It shows the concentration of EBR1. It was in the blank. Uh, it is in blank, and the sodium ion concentration it is in black color, and the potassium ion concentration it is in gray color. Okay. So what is the question? The question is which one of the following graphs which one of the following graphs best represents the condition with an egg 1 to 3 second after fertilization. Okay. So, in this plot, it is the plot of the unfertilized egg and it is asking how the plot will be after the fertilization. Okay. So, as we have discussed, in, on, in an unfertilized egg, the unfertilized egg what happens what are the important points the important point is that unfertilized egg has negative membrane potential it has negative membrane potential and the negative membrane potential is because of the low concentration of sodium ion that is because of low sodium ion but when the egg or the past egg it fused with the sperm uh, sorry, when the first sperm it will fuse through with the egg, then what will happen? Then the membrane potential it will change from negative to the positive. The membrane potential it will change to in a fertilized egg it will be membrane potential will be positive, and um, because the positive charge is because of the influx of the sodium concentration. So inside the egg plasma membrane, the sodium ion concentration is now very high. The sodium ion concentration now increases its level. So let's see the plots in the past plot. What will happen? The EBR1, EBR1 has no role in the fertilization, and the uh, the question is all about the concentration of sodium and the potassium ion. Okay. So in uh, the gram. What will happen if when the uh, it is fertilized, the sodium ion concentration should be high and the potassium ion, when the sodium ion enter into the cell, that also lead to the efflux of the potassium ion. So, it will be the high in the sodium ion concentration and the low potassium ion concentration in an fertilized egg. In the A, the option A, what I have, um, in the option A, the sodium ion concentration is low and the potassium ion concentration is very high. So, this one is the wrong. In the option B, what happens? The same condition, the sodium ion concentration is low and the potassium ion concentration is very high. So, this one will be the wrong. In the third option, what happens? Here, the sodium ion concentration is very high and the potassium ion concentration is low so this is the correct answer okay then the option d option d it has the no change in the concentration of sodium and the potassium ion so this one will also be the wrong answer so the correct answer is the, the in the fertilized egg the concentration of sodium ion will be high and the potassium ion will be low. thank you for watching let's learn together and the, my upcoming video it will be on slow block to 
polyspomy in sea urchin.